All right, y'all, what's going on, guys? Back again with another video, back again with another video, back, back, back again with another video. So you see this gorgeous and handsome face? Might I add, you already know that there's more Pokemon Go info. So in today's video, I have two reminders of the uh, next two upcoming events. So actually, like I said, this is just a reminder. Uh, you guys, like I said, you, all, you may already know about it, but it, like I said, it's just a reminder. That's all it is. So, with that being said, we're not going to jump into that video now, but we're going to jump into that video right now. Let's go. Alright guys, so basically, like I said in the intro, this is just a reminder. Also, know that I made, I believe, one or two videos recently about these two topics but like i said yet again it's just a reminder so excuse all that noise in the background if you guys notice every time i make my videos because i've noticed this there's always like some noise in the background or someone trying to call me while i'm trying to make my videos it's kind of annoying but anyhow i guess that's just the luck that i have but anyhow let's jump back into this topic so now we're going to talk about the ente research task that's supposed to be coming really really soon next month so basically here it says trainers we have an official confirmation that september pokemon go research breakthrough will feature the fire beast entei so remember that it was a coin toss between entei and suicune so at one point they was going to pick either suicune or entei so they actually came up with entei so that's that and entei has been chosen alongside quests that will feature other fire type pokemon so Another reason why I'm making this video, because I also want to let you guys know that normally when they do research tasks, like, you know, uh, uh, containing new breakthrough uh, legendaries, if you notice, there's always some new uh, shiny Pokemon added to the game, when, especially when they do a, a brand new event. Um, so I'm guessing we're probably going to get some new sh uh, awesome Fire-type shiny spawns. You never know. Like shiny, because we, we already got shiny Charizard. Uh... Another Pokemon we could probably get is Shiny Slugma. Or maybe we could get Shiny Ponyta. I don't know. But remember, Niantic did... Uh, they basically have all the Shinies already ready to go. And they're going to be releasing them. I don't know soon, but I think they're doing them in like doses. So that's pretty cool too. So if they actually, if Niantic does release these Shinies, those are some of the Shinies that we possibly could see. Now, that's not a definite. That's just my theory. That's my thoughts. So, don't hold me to anything. Remember, this is just my thoughts. And, like I said, this video is just a reminder of what's going on in the next upcoming events. Now, basically, this does put a damper on the fact that if Entei had been in October, one could have managed to work the dates to get five Entei breakthroughs, just like Raikou. However, an Entei is an Entei regardless. Any of them ought to be appreciated. So, basically, what they're basically saying is, as long as you get an Entei, uh... Most of you, most of us, we already have Entei. If you don't, now's your chance to get it by next month. Um, also, with that being said, remember, if you're looking to get your first ever Entei or you're looking to get another Entei for whatever reason, then remember, when you get your breakthrough uh, research box, or, or just your breakthrough box, not really sure how they say it, but anyway, breakthrough box, you guys know what I'm saying. Make sure you do not open your box. Even when it be hits September the 2nd, or I believe it's the September the 1st. Let me jump ahead. Yeah, so it's September the 1st, because the Entei is available September the 1st at 1 p.m. PST until the end of the month. Now, basically here, just because it hits September the 1st, and I'm gonna read that because they, they're gonna be mentioning the same thing. I also want to let you guys know that. Now, just because it hits September the 1st, doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna get Entei because it has to be exactly past 1 p.m. PST. So, if you wanna do it and you wanna be sure to get Entei, I would suggest you wait till six o'clock. No matter what your time zone is, wait till like six o'clock or wait till like the next day. This way you'll be sure to actually get en you know, Entei or whatever, so that's that. Now, basically here it says additional field research quests will become available featuring fire type Pokemon. Entei is among the strongest fire types currently available in Pokemon Go. Now, the field research Entei CP range from 1265 to 1447 CP. Now, its best moves is fire spin and overheat. So you want an Entei 
that has fire spin and overheat. Of course, you have your TMs and HMs, and you can uh, obviously change their moveset. But remember, it still does no good because you cannot put legendaries or mythicals in gems yet. So, but it is good to actually use them to battle inside gems uh, when necessary, like taking down other raid bosses. So, anyway, here it says not about time zones and Entei availability. Now, now this is what I was just talking to you guys about. So, remember, trainers, the time it becomes available at September 1st. Uh, one oh, at 1 p.m. PST. So just because it is September 1st in your time zone does not mean it, it's available, and that's what they're basically talking about. So it says, if you want Entei, wait until after the above mentioned time before claiming a breakthrough. Otherwise, you'll get Raikou, which I was just mentioning because you don't want to get Raikou unless you want to get Raikou. You can still uh, open your boxes before that time. Now, on the flip side, if you want another Raikou, you have to uh, uh, have until the time above to claim the breakthrough. Otherwise, after 1 p.m. PST, uh, your box will be Entei. So, it's up to you if you want Entei or Raikou. But, if, like I said, if you want Entei, make sure you wait either to 6 o'clock or after. That's why I say any time between that time, just to be sure. Because everybody's time zone is actually different. So, with that being said, uh, this is basically about the Entei metagame. Uh, I'm just going to scroll through here, um, and you basically can read this for yourself. I'm not going to go through all this. I just wanted to give you basically a reminder of what's to come as far as the events go. Um, so this is not a video where, you know, like there's a new event and all that. This is just a previous event that I'm keeping you guys reminded on. Uh, so basically, if you like I said, if you want, you can pause this or whatever, and you can go over this. Um... But I'm, I am going to read what they're talking about in Gen 4. So Gen 4 has some interesting additions like Magmortar, but it remains to be seen how that will influence Entei's placement. Now, another thing, that's why they, they did the Gen 2 event, which the Gen 2 event is, uh, is set to actually end today, I believe, at between 1 and 4 o'clock. Um, but yeah, make sure you check your time zone for that. With that being said, uh, like me, I, I have 100% Magmar, so I'm already ready for Magmortar. I'm ready for Gen 4, the drop of Gen 4, just like everybody else. Now, Entei can be a popular choice in attacking gems since it has a, access to Flamethrower, two bar fire type moves that can be often used in gems. So, basically, that's gonna basically uh, wrap this part of the video up. Like I said, if you wanna reread uh, the meta on, you know, the move sets and everything else like that on Entei, uh, you can obviously pause the video and watch uh, and read that part. Um, but like I said, it's just a reminder of what's to come uh, in the upcoming events. So guys, stay tuned. I'm going to uh, go over one more um, event. And this is the biggest because it actually starts tomorrow and it's the Safari Zone event. So guys, stay tuned before I wrap this video up. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so this is the last and final event. Um, so basically, this is something I'm gonna go over, and this has everything to do with the Safari Zone event and it's leading up to Gen 4. Now, like I said in my previous videos, uh, they might be releasing Gen 4 in the Safari Zone. They might, I don't know. I'm just giving you my ideas. Um, but although I remember in another article that I, um, made a video on Niantic was mentioning they and, I, and like I said in my last video also Niantic might just be releasing Gen 4 right after this Safari Zone event like I said which starts uh, tomorrow so anyway we're gonna jump right into this so it says trainers our Pokemon Go Summer Tour 2018 will come to a close with our final event the Pokemon Go Safari Zone in Yokosuka Japan this event kicks off Wednesday, which is tomorrow, August 29th, and lasts until Sunday, September 2nd, uh, Japan Standard Time. I believe that's what that is. But anyway, JST, in Yokosuka City, in Kanagawa Prefecture. Now, the event starts tomorrow, so you guys want to be ready for this. Hopefully, you guys don't have to work. If you do, and you have to walk to work, make sure you got your phones out, plan this event, because it's going to be really cool. Um, however, there's some Pokemon that's going to be in Japan that is not, we're not gonna probably be able to get because it, it's a overseas event and it's like this in every uh event like go fest uh like last year safari zone but however we will be able to see this some of the same pokemon all around the world such as shiny wingle now i was gonna say that to the end but it doesn't matter because we're gonna get shiny wingle that's gonna be uh worldwide and the reason i'm mentioning it is because 
it has everything to do with what I'm talking about as of right now. So, all around the world, we might see Shiny Wingle. Matter of fact, we will be able to see Shiny Wingle because uh, it actually mentions that. Uh, and there's gonna be some regular Wingle. So, that's pretty cool. So, make sure you have your Wingle candy because uh, there haven't really been any Wingle out in the wild lately. Um, yeah, I suggest you go by like bodies of water because remember, Wingle is part water type, it's a water flying type. So, uh, as Gen 4 is coming uh, and nearing us, we're not gonna really be seeing any really like Gen 1, Gen 2, or Gen 3 Pokemon because Gen 4 is coming. Um, so, yeah. Let's jump into the rest of this. So it says, Yokosuka is an amazing city known for its fondness for American culture and its beautiful nature. Uh, yada, yada, yada. We're not going to go through all of that. Trainers will be able to find Pokemon. There we go. Trainers will be able to find Pokemon not normally seen in Japan, uh, such as grass and flying type Pokemon, Tropius, Unknown, and more. Now, remember, it says, Trainers will be able to find Pokemon not normally seen in Japan. So basically, if you're in Japan, these are the special Pokemon where you're gonna actually be able to encounter. Now, I already have a, a Tropius. I have three, I believe. But anyhow, now I know y'all probably wondering how I got those, and most of you already know how. Yes, I spoofed. You know what I'm saying? Like, but that was when I spoofed. But now, being that it's nice and hot out, I choose to not spoof. Because why would you want to spoof on a nice day like this? But anyway, let's jump into the rest of this. So now. Tropius, Unknown, and more. So those are the special Pokemon that's actually going to be within uh, within Japan, within the event. Uh, so it says, while there will be many exciting Pokemon to catch throughout the event, raid battles will not be available at the event location. So they, they won't. There will be no, uh, you know, raids. It will be no, you know, none, none of that because, well, that's just the way they have it. Uh, but for most people, they really don't care about the raids unless it's like Deoxys or somebody. But we're probably not going to see that until a long while. Although, Deoxys uh, will be probably dropped sometime when Gen 4 drops. Um, so we got to, you know, basically just, uh, stay tuned for that. Now here it says, the Pokemon Go Safari Zone and Yokosuka is a free event. But those who wish to attend will need to apply through Yokosuka City special website. Applications open Friday, July 6th. All that's irrelevant because those days done and gone and over with uh so don't delay if you're interesting if you're interested in attending uh now if applications exceed the capacity okay blah blah, blah blah you guys already know about that like i said the the time is done um yeah so basically we're going to jump into the rest of this the yokosuka pokemon go safari zone event will be held over the course of five days but gameplay is designed to be a single day experience so basically uh, the event will be held in the course of five days, but the gameplay is designed to be a single day experience. So, I'm guessing basically uh, it's going to feel like one day or something like that, or uh, because it's, it's going to be a five day event. Um, but, well, you guys get what they're saying, so I don't even have to explain that. But, anyhow, uh, it says in order to give as many trainers as possible the chance to take part, participation is limited. To the day listed on each ticket if a trainer somehow manages to obtain multiple tickets they will only be able to find special pokemon on the day the first ticket is claimed so basically like i was just saying uh because i didn't actually understand it myself for a second but what it's basically saying is it's a, a five-day event um and that's that's basically it um so but i guess it's, it's gonna fill or they're probably gonna have like certain Pokemon on like each of those days or whatever that you're not gonna be able to find on the next day. I'm guessing that's what, what they're saying. If you guys know what they're saying about that part, comment down below to let me know. Um, but yeah, anyhow, it says, in celebration of the Yokosuka Pokemon Go Safari Zone event, Pokemon such as Feebas and Torchic will be found more often throughout Japan. Now, if you're in Japan, you're gonna see more increased spawns of both Phoebus or Feebas, however you wanna say it, and Torchic. So now you can get your Milotics, and your Combuskins and your Blazikins if you don't have one of each already. Additionally, Wingle, yeah, was the part I was talking about, Wingle will appear more frequently worldwide and Lucky Trainers may even encounter its shiny form, which you will, because you're not Niantic when they say may. 10 to 1, you're probably going to, but then again, there's a chance that you won't because Niantic likes to make shinies a lot harder and it pisses people off a lot. So, anyway, with that being said, uh, just to top it off, Professor Willow's Global Challenge will take place on September 1st and 2nd, giving trainers all over the world the opportunity to unlock incredible bonuses. 
while they take part in this special event. So usually when there's bonuses, that comes with additional increased spawns of Pokemon. Uh, because without the without the special bonuses or being able to unlock the special bonuses, uh, whenever we have like a, a global challenge, we're basically gonna get like the same Pokemon, just like last year's Safari Zone, we're gonna get the same spawns all around the world as Japan. Except we won't see as many Tricos or Feebasses because, well, this is a Japan event. So you know how that whole thing works. So we still might see a Torchic here and there or Feebass here and there, but it's not gonna be an increased spawn like Japan will have. Um, so yeah, basically here, uh, yeah, we can't wait to see there the Pokemon Go team. So guys, I wanted to share that with you to remind you, uh, remind you what is um, at stake. So remember, uh, we have that, plus on top of that, we have Gen 4 somewhere in the mix. So from this point, so starting tomorrow on until like the end of September, into like the beginning of October, Pokemon Go is going to be pretty darn lit if you ask me, you know. Uh, and then you still got the Celebi task if you haven't finished that. So now with this event, it'll give you the gumption to actually uh, get out and play. And it's going to be pretty nice from now all the way until this coming weekend. They said it's supposed to be beautiful. Um, then there's uh, weather that says uh, it's going to be rainy. So. I don't know, but I had checked it. They said basically it was going to be nice. And some were saying it was going to be rainy. So it's a coin toss. So basically just get out there and have a good time. If it's, it's going to be weather like it is today, it's going to give you the gumption to do that Celebi quest. Yeah, I know certain, po uh, certain tasks uh, require you to do day by day, certain catches and everything like that. But it's going to give you the gumption to actually pull out your phone and play Pokemon Go. So with that being said, guys, hope you have fun. Uh, you know, basically what's at stake, I'm going to reiterate what I said. You got the Entei. You might have shiny fire types, uh, which actually start in September the 1st, um, which is actually in a couple days. We got the uh, Safari Zone e event. We got shiny Wingle at stake. Uh, increased spawns of the uh, Safari Zone event. And to top it off, the Celebi quest. So... Like I said, it's going to be pretty lit. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah. So, that's basically going to wrap this video up. Make sure you guys like, comment, sub. Share this video wherever you share cool stuff. Comment down below. Smack a like on this video. Crush the notification bell so you can stay updated on my latest videos. Make sure, you, make sure you're turning on your post notifications so you can stay updated on my latest videos as well. And as always, guys, peace and love. Stay blessed. Stay humble. Stay strong. Keep your head up. Put God first. And stay humble. And remember to always, always, see, there's another truck messing up my, my entry. Anyway, you guys know what I'm trying to, what I'm about to say next. And as always, always be blessed and I'm out. Peace. Or should I say my outro? That truck messing up my outro. But anyway, guys, remember to always, always be blessed and I'm out. Peace. All right, guys, so basically, uh, there was actually some speculation, and uh, it's an image I'm gonna show you guys, because I believe Niantic actually, or may have accidentally, uh, released Shiny Wingle. So if you guys see that, make sure you guys comment it down below uh, to let me know, and make sure you uh, post it on social media, or my social media, so you guys um, can let everybody know. So with that being said, guys, I'm out, peace.